Yo, the Cosmos ecosystem is far from complete, but it is still one of the most complete ecosystems in crypto. And to be honest, in my opinion, it also has one of the best UXs in crypto and is very intuitive if you compare it to most other ecosystems in crypto. If you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you are pretty much aware and knowledgeable about Cosmos technology in the first place. But you might not be aware of all the L1s, the different app chains in Cosmos, what they're actually doing, how they're positioned, and which of these has very high upside potential. Now, obviously we are currently in a deep bear market and if anybody says anything bullish or positive about any cryptocurrency, people get really, really triggered. But this is really separating the kids from the big boys. This is really the time where legends are made. In the end of the bear market, when everybody is like surrendering, everybody's trying to rationally explain why crypto is not going to succeed, why it's the end. That's where you have to place your bets and that's where you have to make your research and be on top of the things for cryptocurrencies that not only have survived the bear market, but that have built relentlessly throughout the bear market and are going to come out of this very, very strong. Now, the projects that I'm going to be talking about today are not guaranteed to succeed. They're not guaranteed to pull 100Xs. In fact, they can all go to zero like this. This is crypto, you have to be aware of the risks and you also have to be mature and responsible enough to take full accountability of your own finances and all the investments that you're doing in the crypto space. I'm invested in every single of the following chains and coins that I talk about. Also with Sexito, we are running a validator on all of these chains, right? So you could either say I'm biased or you could say I do have skin in a game and I put my money where my mouth is. And in no particular order, we're going to start right away with coin number one, which is Sommelier. Sommelier Finance is a Cosmos app chain that actively manages DeFi strategies on other chains, predominantly on Ethereum. Other yield optimization protocols such as Yearn Finance, which you might be familiar with if you've been around since the DeFi summer of 2020, embed all the logic in the smart contract and can't run complex strategies like using off-chain data sources or machine learning, for example. Sommelier Finance can do that. And especially in the past few months, Sommelier gained a lot of steam and a lot of traction with the successful launch of Real Yield USD and Real Yield ETH and currently has around $14 million in total value locked. And why do I think SOM as a native coin is undervalued or has high upside potential? I believe that because the sommelier strategy is to not artificially incentivize um, stakers or token holders or validators with inflationary incentives, similar to what Kojira is doing, but I actually believe in real yield and revenue shares. Max supply for some is 500 million, and at a current price of around 10 cents, even less than 10 cents, a circulating market cap of $21.6 million. So if somebody would pull 100X, it would have a $2 billion circulating market cap and a $5 billion fully diluted market cap and would be traded at around $10, which to be honest is something that's totally possible. But again, the downside is it just goes to zero. And the current APR for staking sum is around 10%. And also the Sommelier team has a lot of skin in the game. We obviously have Zaki Manian, who is an OG in the Cosmos space. Um, also, Jack Sampolin, who has been a frequent guest here on the show, and many others that have been around for many years. But I think they also understand that for Cosmos to really grow, we need to explore synergies with other ecosystems. And that's exactly what, uh, what Sommelier is doing with um, walls on Ethereum and strategies for um, the Ethereum community as well. Project number two is Agoric and the BLD coin. What is Agoric? Agoric is a general purpose Cosmos chain that supports hardened JavaScript smart contracts. JavaScript is a language that is used by over 10 million developers. So it's probably one of the most widely adopted programming languages out there, and yet it doesn't really have a lot of traction in the crypto space. So Agoric aims to onboard these developers into the Cosmos and broader crypto space, 
and they are building a composable library to help developers deploy dApps in JavaScript. They are also the team that has built the IST stablecoin, which is a fully collateralized stable token on Agoric. Also, the Agoric team has helped MetaMask, or the consensus team, to build MetaMask Snap, which is a brand new feature that is coming out very soon. On top of that, also a lot of applications besides IST um, are coming out. And since Agoric is a general purpose smart contract platform, there's going to be a lot of features. Um, for example, Calypso is coming up, which is a single dashboard to manage all interchain assets. Also Krabble, which is an NFT rental marketplace. And we're probably going to see more and more applications coming out on Agoric in the next couple of weeks and months. Now, if we look at the BLD coin itself, we can see that at a price of around 15 cents, it implies a circulating market cap of $82 million and a fully diluted market cap of around $187 million, which to be honest, for a general purpose smart contract platform at that uh, scale of that size is not a lot. Also, the BLD price is currently below the Coinlist ICO and also the private sale rounds. So here's an overview of the ICO or the token sale of Agoric. You can see that it ranged between 20 cents and 80 cents. It shows that uh, BLD is right now probably on a good sale. And um, you can also see how much they raised, which is, I think, uh, somewhere between 70 and 80 million dollars. So they're well funded, they have a strong team, and they are definitely one of the strongest builders in the Cosmos ecosystem. Also, one of the biggest releases is that in Q3, um, they're aiming to release permissioned and permissionless smart contracts, which could drive a lot of adoption. Here's also a small roadmap that they have released, and I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Agoric in the next weeks and months. Next up, we have Stargaze. And Stargaze is one of the best chains in Cosmos that also has one of the best cultures, or should I say one of the baddest cultures, because the Bad Kids NFT collection on Stargaze is not just a random NFT collection, it is culture. It is what brings cosmonauts together. It's the common direction that we're swimming in. And if you don't have a bad kid, are you even a cosmonaut? That's Stargaze. And Stargaze, in fact, an NFT app chain that is doing a lot of things and also doing a lot of technical innovations when it comes to DAOs, when it comes to also um, shared security models. They're also in a race to potentially migrate into a Cosmos Subsecure chain. They're also experimenting with different token standards and interoperable NFTs, NFT staking, and all these kind of things. So Stargaze is also innovating something that is called Infinity Swap, which is an AMM but for NFTs. Now, if we look at the performance of STARS and some of the tokenomics, we can see that STARS is currently extremely low. It is actually around all-time lows. And STARS has a market capitalization of $17 million based on circulating supply and $54 million based on fully diluted supply, which is 4 billion coins that will ever be existing. So this is the STARS token. You can also stake STARS. Um, you can also as well delegate to Stakecito. Much appreciated, even though on STARS we're actually quite high in the ranking. So to contribute to the Nakamoto coefficient and decentralization, also consider delegating to others. Staking APR is currently at around 28%. And they also have features and upcoming implementations that might contribute to also refine and improve the value accrual for STARS. Also, Proposal 165 passed, which is an update to the tokenomics, which means inflation reduction and max supply to just the fair burn mechanisms, which means more tokens will be burned. Also, an increase of the inflation rewards towards stakers from 35% to 80% because I think this is also one of the biggest downsides right now is that if you stake stars you still get outpaced by the inflation by 1% so this would fix that but overall the mint and marketplace volume trends have been upward since December 2022 which is crazy in this bear market that they have just gamed the bear market now with the tokenomics update plus more and more usage over time stars price could go up and have more demand and this stars fly will could accelerate. My fourth coin on the list is none other than 
the flagship DEX in Cosmos, Osmosis. And Osmosis is a Cosmos app chain and the largest interchain DEX with a peak TVL at over 1.8 billion US dollars. They obviously suffered a lot with the Terra collapse and under the bear market conditions, but Osmosis is one of the most innovative chains that also implements features like superfluid staking. They also are working on delivering mesh security. It's actually something that came out of the Osmosis core team. They also want to supercharge liquidity. Um, they want to innovate on threshold encryption and Osmosis outposts to be deployed on multiple chains, including chains like Neutron, which is the Cosmos Hub secured uh, smart contract platform. So the game plan for Osmosis is very, very clear. It's just to foster and maintain that position as a flagship DEX in Cosmos that also now more and more embeds features like lending through Mars Protocol, which add value to the Osmosis platform and DeFi hub. We also have StreamSwap, which is a feature to bootstrap liquidity for new tokens. We've seen that with Omniflix, we've seen that with Nolos, and we're going to see it with Quasar and potentially also with Celestia. Now, why do I believe that Osmo is severely undervalued? Well, I believe that because currently we are literally making all-time low after all-time low. So if you really believe that the Osmosis team with Sunny, Def, I think there's many more people that people aren't really aware of that are extremely smart that are working on Osmosis. If you believe that their mission and vision is solid, if you believe that the flagship DEX in Cosmos is going to survive, then looking into Osmo at these levels, making all-time low after all-time low, where everybody's saying this is dead, this is the end for Osmosis, this is it, that's where you should look into it, right? So currently Osmo price is in a free fall, that's where things are getting interesting. Now there are three proposals that passed that will change the Osmo tokenomics. Proposal 484, 45 and 46. In short what they do is they're cutting emissions in half which also reduces the max supply from 1 billion to 780 million. They also will increase the staking net yield and they will also incentivize superfluid staking even more, which should also incentivize and drive more TVL. Osmosis has, in fact, taken IBC to the market. I don't think IBC would be as big without Osmosis as it is. And they are still leaders and the biggest, highest volume IBC chain in the past 30 days. Also, Osmosis got listed on major exchanges like Binance and Coinbase, which is something that you don't see a lot in, in the Cosmos ecosystem. It's more that Atom is always out there on all these exchanges but also Osmo now is getting more and more access to uh, the general user base in crypto and investors by the centralized exchange listings. The staking APR currently for the Osmo coin is around 19.6%. There is a third inning coming up and there is a lot of adjustments um, to the Osmo tokenomics. So we'll see how the staking APR uh, evolves. But currently, if you are staking, you are being outpaced by inflation a lot. So an inflation is 33.45% and staking APR only 19.6%. Uh, now, my fifth and final chain on that list, undervalued Cosmos Diamonds is Akash, Akash Network, which is an OG Cosmos chain, a blue chip that um, has been around for many years. Uh, one of the first ones to implement IBC, one of the first ones on Osmosis, and just one of the first Cosmos chains to exist. So Akash is in fact a decentralized marketplace for cloud computing resources. They are also now obviously getting more and more traction with this whole AI hype and narrative. Now, why do I believe that Akash is severely undervalued? I believe that because, first of all, I think we're seeing a major trend with AI emerging the chat GPTs, the Google birds of the world. And this is now heating up, which drives a lot of demand for projects like Akash Network, especially also for GPUs, which is one of the flagship products of Akash. We're seeing infrastructure companies like NVIDIA that are obviously doing Web2 stuff that are gaining a lot of traction and benefiting significantly from this trend and from these AI wars. 
And uh, NVIDIA just became one of the most valuable companies as a result of that, right? So I think Akash, severely underrated. They also have one of the smartest teams and best teams in crypto. And they've just been relentlessly building and shipping. So I'm very, very excited also for the GPUs marketplace that is expected to launch in the next month, which is really cool. And I think this could also bring a lot more um, hype and uh, new investors into Akash. Akash also aims to source GPUs from many Ethereum PO, uh, POW miners that lost their income after Ethereum transferred to POS and more. So I think there's a lot of interesting things that are happening. If we look at the AKT coin specifically, we can see that um, the current price is around 52 cents. So it already had a little pump, a little revival rally. And um, at the current inflation rate of around 7.6%, it gives you a staking APR of around 10%. And with Stake C2, we also recently joined the validator set. So you can also delegate your AKT there and also contribute more and more to decentralization. So AKT, in my opinion, severely underrated, severely undervalued. And I think you're going to see AKT around for a long, long time. And um, especially with the launch of the GPUs marketplace and Akash AI to support decentralized AI leveraging the Akash GPUs marketplace, we're going to see a lot more hype and demand and potentially also increase in price for the AKT coin. Now, this is my list of five undervalued Cosmos diamonds that I believe have extremely high upside potential and are currently severely undervalued. Obviously, none of this is any sort of investment advice. You are old and mature enough to take full accountability of your own money. This stuff can all go to zero tomorrow. It can all go to zero like this. So don't expect any profit from this. Don't expect any 100x gains from this. All I'm saying is that it is possible, and especially right now in the deepest bear market where everybody's negative, everybody's losing money, everybody hates being bullish right now, that's where you should look into it, right? Reverse psychology, when everybody is doing one thing, you should do the other thing, right? So I'll leave you guys with that. Stay safe. I hope you have a good day, good time, good week. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe and be good.